All right, good morning to you. I'm gonna take you along today as I cook and ferment. I have several things that I want to make today. I'm going to re-photograph an old recipe from my blog for sourdough cinnamon bread. So I'm gonna be making that after breakfast. I'm going to make up a batch of yogurt. I'm gonna make breakfast, lunch, dinner, any snacks we may have. I'm just gonna take you along. Normally, I come back and do the voiceovers for these later on. But I'm going to try to pop in throughout the day. It's a little bit difficult. I had to have Luke take the kids out so I could actually talk. So that's why I don't normally do it this way. Today's food prep video is brought to you by Thrive Market. I love having a Thrive Market membership to get a lot of dried goods, organic, natural, for a really good price delivered right to my door. Things like peanut butter, einkorn flour, coconut aminos, spices, vanilla, vitamins, all are things that I've been purchasing on Thrive Market for many years now. Thrive Market's website makes it really easy to shop by diet, so if you're dairy-free, gluten-free, paleo, you can specify what kind of things you want them to show you. My favorite thing about Thrive Market is the Thrive Market store, kind of like an in-store brand. It's really inexpensive. They have all of my staples, things that I maybe can't find necessarily here in town. I can find it on there. So some specialty ingredients I also will get from Thrive Market. They somewhat recently rolled out new way to be a member so you can now choose a month to month option if you don't feel like paying for the year you do get a discount when you pay for the year which is what i've always done but if you just want to get your feet wet try it out see if you like it see if there are things that you can't find at your grocery store that you can find on there compare prices and find out if it's going to be a good fit for you and your family you can do the month to month 9.95 option thrive market is offering 25 percent off your first order if you're a new Thrive Market customer plus a free gift. You can get that at thrivemarket.com forward slash farmhouse on Boone. I will also leave a link in the description below. First up, English muffins. Now in my original recipe for English muffins, I call for a second rise in the morning. I have to tell you that lately I've been completely skipping this and it works great. So what I did was last night, I combined in a large glass bowl, four cups of freshly ground wheat flour, I just milled this in our Nutramil, a cup of fed sourdough starter that I'd fed earlier in the day, and two cups of water. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of salt, and a couple of tablespoons of honey. Then I'm going to get some cast iron skillets preheating. I'm going to drop them on the hot skillet and then immediately reduce the heat so that they can slowly rise and cook. I find that they rise just fine with the additional baking soda without another rise. I just cook them really slow so they get nicely cooked through. This way you can get them going first thing in the morning, almost like pancakes. All you have to do is soak them the night before and then they're ready to roll in the morning so that you don't have to actually wait for breakfast because if your kids are like mine, they're not gonna like that. Now this recipe for sourdough cinnamon raisin bread has been on my blog forever. It was one of my first sourdough recipes. I actually really love this recipe, but I wanted to photograph it with the swirl in the middle, which I didn't originally do just because I think it'll do better on Google and Pinterest. These are the kind of things that bloggers think about. So I am gonna revisit the recipe 
and add how to make it swirl. So for this bread, last night I combined my ingredients in a large mixing bowl for the bread component, which was sourdough starter, flour, water, honey, and oil and salt. And this morning it's bubbly and huge. I'm going to add the raisins, which I soaked in a little bit of water to make them plump. And then I'm gonna roll it flat, add some cinnamon to the top, roll it up, and allow it to rise for a couple more hours before baking. Cheese. Say cheese. Okay, I got my cinnamon raisin bread rising. I just put it in these rubber band Aldi bags so it wouldn't dry out, but plastic wrap wouldn't stick to the top. And I'm going to get my regular artisan style bread going for tomorrow. So um, that just is gonna require me to mix some ingredients like the flours, water starter and stretch and fold and then it basically just sits the rest of the day. I fed my starter about an hour ago. The boys and I went to get pectin in jars from the store in town. And then we have a you pick strawberry place just down the road. So my plan is to make some strawberry jam. That was not my plan this morning when I first started this video, but then I realized that they had the you pick ready, which is really early. It's normally, usually it's closer to June around here, but as of recording, it's just the first couple days of May. This won't come out till a little later. But anyways, we're gonna make some jam. So after school time, we're gonna head to do some you pick, and I'll take you along on that too, because I'm gonna try to make it with only honey as the sweetener. You can get my entire process for how to make this no need artisan sourdough bread here on my YouTube channel. I have the whole process in a 10 minute video. I will leave a link in the description below or you can just search Farma Boone sourdough bread. It's my most recent sourdough bread video. I'm gonna get some yogurt going in the Instant Pot. I didn't even 
I just used the last bit of yogurt and didn't even clean it out. I'm just gonna go straight into making another batch so that we can just keep it going. First, I'm just going to pour a gallon of milk into this and heat it to about 180, I believe, and then let it cool, add in my yogurt starter, put it on the yogurt setting, and forget about it. I love making things like yogurt and sourdough bread because you get them started and then you don't really have to do much with them. The work just happens with time. Because we are going to go strawberry picking, I'm getting an easy lunch ready so that we can have it when we get back. So I'm gonna make some of my easy sourdough pizza crust, which is just putting some sourdough starter, olive oil, and salt on a preheated cast iron skillet. I'm going to add some fig spread and mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, bacon, and then for the adults, so for me and Luke, our pizza is also gonna have some jalapenos. I love the figgy, piggy combination. You see it at a lot of restaurants. Super delicious, so that's just what we're gonna do today. I have all the things, it'll just be really easy. All right, while my yogurt is cooling, back down to add the cultures. Bread is rising. My sourdough bread for tomorrow is resting. The crusts are in the oven, just with the oven off. We're gonna go pick some strawberries. And when we get back, I'm going to assemble the pizzas just by adding on all of the toppings pop them back in the oven for just a few minutes so that we can have lunch before nap time and then I can finish up all of the rest of my food prep during nap. There's so much bread over here. Only the red ones are good. Um, Daniel. One more, mommy. Oh no, this one was gonna arrive. I, I didn't see what I was picking. Well, then just take it and put it in your, put it in. I got the bright. Oh, bright. Cool. Oh, you know. said thank you. <laughs> Look how much I got. Here's oh, yeah. I found this one on this row. Oh, that mommy, mommy. This one's really good. That's a good one. Hey, hey, hey. I found lots of red ones over here. I, I think what? there's red ones everywhere. Oh, We're going to do one red sauce pizza per children's request. Going to make up a quick batch of sauerkraut. I mentioned in a recent video that I'm really enjoying making it without the food processor and in smaller batches and to keep it constantly going on the counter. So usually or the way I used to do it was I would do a really large batch every couple months in the food processor 
But now I'm making it a habit to weekly get a couple of heads of cabbage, just chop it up with a knife, add about a tablespoon of salt per head of cabbage, add some caraway seeds, and then just pack it in jars. And this just keeps it in a constant and easy rotation. Plus, I really like the taste of it better whenever it's not as shredded and it's a little bit crisper. So this is just my new routine. To do the jam, I'm going to first get some jam jars really hot in some boiling water. And then I'm going to puree the strawberries in the blender and cook it with a cup or two of honey, depending on how much I ended up here. I don't really know if I have, how many cups of berries I have here. And some pectin, and then cook it until it's a little bit thickened. Put it into the jars, and we'll see how many jars of jam I end up with. My sourdough starter is getting a bit low after making pizzas and bread, so I'm going to feed it. I'm going to get some chicken going for dinner. And then I'm going to get my sourdough bread for tomorrow in the refrigerator. And then that's all the food prep for today. So today was a huge food prep day. I don't normally make jam, sauerkraut, and yogurt, and bread all in one day. They're things I do make regularly in my kitchen, but not normally in one day. But it's really nice when you get things like that done because then you reap the benefits of it just days and weeks and months ahead, depending on what kind of thing it is. I'm going to make up some of my homemade mayo to make a variation or like a little version of Mexican street corn, which I'm just gonna do with frozen corn, some mayo, sour cream and lime, 
I'm gonna put that on some greens with some avocado and chips and make like a little Mexican salad with for dinner. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed going along with me as I cooked and prepped food for my family. Tomorrow will be a lot easier, but I won't be taking you along. So if you think I cook this much every single day, it's not true. I do have days like this where I prep way ahead. Most days I usually do make something sourdough. I have bread going pretty regularly. Always have sauerkraut, but again, I only need to make that about once a week or a month, depending on how much I'm making. Yogurt and kefir are regular, but I only need to make a gallon of yogurt every five days or so. And we're gonna enjoy this jam for months, so I'm super excited about that. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Also make sure to check out Thrive Market if you have not yet to get 25% off your order and a free gift. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.